Hey guys, it's Tommy C. and welcome back to my channel. Um, just a short episode today, I just wanted to give a quick update as to what I've done off camera. Um, I've essentially been around the entire park and added lighting in to, uh, to make the park effective at night. Um, I decided to do this off camera, uh, mainly because watching me put down lampposts um, probably isn't the most entertaining use of your time. Um, but here you can see the whole park overall. I'm really pleased with how this looks at night time. I think everything has its own sort of separate um, separate lighting feature. So uh, yeah, I just thought I'd have a, I'd, I'd just give you a quick tour of the park now that all the lighting is in. It, the park isn't finished yet. Um, I still want to add one or two more rides uh, and just kind of finish off this sort of back area here where it's still a little bit open. I've got the back corner here re sorted and the corner edge here and I just want to kind of complete this back section um, to sort of finish off the park really so uh, yeah let's uh, let's take a let's take a dive in into the main entrance here that the main entrance to be fair was lit up um, before this was the only bit of lighting that was in the park as you come out you have the uh, you have the ferris wheel there that is nicely uh, nicely lit up in front which is a nice sort of eye-catching feature as you come in Obviously, we go around here. We've got the fairground rides, and the, the the seating area. I've gone for more of like a dimmed lighting. Um, it's not quite as bright as the path or some of the other areas, but I wanted that to be the sort of mood of that area. Um, if if you did want to go in there at night, obviously at the minute there's no guests in there, but um, there have been guests in there. It just depends if they obviously want to sit down. There is plenty of benching around here, as you can see. Um, just on the queue line here, I went around and put some lampposts in just because there's nothing else much really in this bit. And then I decided to use these um, sort of like, they're, they're not the floodlight lights, they're not quite that bright, but they're more like spotlights. Um, I decided to use those and attach those to the post and I think they do uh, they do a good job there. So uh, as we swing around here to the dodgems, the dodgems is very brightly lit up. Um, even, even on its own, the lighting that it comes with is, is very bright, but Obviously we had the fairy lights going around the edge of the Q canopy and in here again we've gone for the spotlights just attached to the post just to make everything uh, go red just to uh, add to the add to the theme of the red and white pattern. Um, on the gondolas we've got the, we've got the archway lights to kind of go over the queue line and then the lampposts along the exit as, long as, uh, as well as these uh, little roof decorations. Go around along the main path you'll notice these lampposts are all the same I've kind of stuck with that throughout the main path going around I thought the main path needed to have a bit of continuity on um, and then that as I say will just differ as and when you veery off the path um, it's very bright in this queue line uh, I've, gone, I've gone for a bright white light so yeah if you are coming down here at night it probably is a little bit eye-opening but um, I wanted this sort of metallic uh, modern sort of feel to this ride so that's why I've gone with the lights as bright as I have and um, obviously that ride is incredibly tall and I want I didn't want it to just go into darkness as soon as you lift it off the floor so what I have done is I've attached two uh, two floodlights to the top of the cable cars here just in order to um, you know in order to kind of light it up at, at least at least halfway um, without adding some floating sort of lights up the top um, you know the top isn't going to be lit up but it is lit up to an extent so uh, yeah I'm pleased with that we head around the back here um, again we get to uh, we get to the flat ride we've got the lamppost going around it because it's all part of the main path and then we've got these lights sort of hidden in, into the rocks here just giving off sort of like a uh, more like a teal blue kind of uh, kind of vibe and we shall go now on to the latest attraction if you've uh, if you watched my last episode, we uh, we added the worm, the mighty worm, into the park. Um, the the lighting around here, I've gone for sort of like a pinky feel. I think this I think this works well with the design. Uh, and as you can see, I've just placed kind of lights randomly around this area just to light up the whole track uh, and give it a bit of a uh, bit of life. Really, uh, I, I am really pleased with how that looks at night. In all fairness, I think that looks uh, I think that looks really nice. Go down here. Now along the go-kart track I have lampposts set all around the track. This uh, this definitely wasn't a quick job to, to go through and put all these on. Um, there are sections where there isn't lighting um, 
and that is along these corners here uh, but that's just mainly because of where the track goes it's quite hard to get lighting to sort of fit and look suited around there so yeah there's a little bit of darkness there and then I've got a, a few spotlights on this uh, on this roof just to light up the track in the middle and then again we've got the lamppost down here uh, we'll go to the cable cars here so we've got some sort of like orange feel to this cable car uh, as well as uh, as well as in in here we've got the archways and the lamppost again as on the other cable car then what else we got here we have the teacups teacups very very nicely lit up so we did have the lanterns in there before again I've gone for a sort of pinky feel in here um, and then some lights around these hedges just to light up the ride itself uh, just to give it that you know more ni nicer feel I suppose and uh, just so you're not riding the teacups in pitch black however not many guests like to go on the teacup by the looks of it that's a, that's a little tip for your park no guests want to come over this way to go on the teacups it's definitely not a uh, major attraction to these guests um, I still need to do a bit of theming around the front of this entrance. Uh, I realise this does look rather plain, so yeah, I need to uh, need to do some work on that before I finish the park off. Uh, but I have got I've got a few of these spotlights attached to the walls at the side here, rather than actually on the path, just to uh, just to help light up the light up the area. Got some floodlights in the middle where they're not necessarily noticeable um, in the day when they're not lit up, um, but this really does bring to life the coaster. It really does light it up well, um, and I am pleased with how that does uh, how that does look. Over here, obviously, we've got the Red Arrow ride, so we've got, which is a red red and yellow theme. So that's what I've gone for. I've gone for red for the ride and yellow for the queue line. Uh, and then just here, just here, obviously, we've got the seating area all nicely lit up. Venetian carousel, very uh, very gold, very bright gold sort of um, design. Obviously, the queue line is walking through a garden. So uh, yeah, really, really like the design on that. On Tornado here, we've, uh, we've I've gone for a, a blue and white sort of theme. So we've got some spotlights on the buildings and we've got some lighting in, hanging off the trees, just to uh, just to light it up a little bit. I've got a bit of water here now. I did put these floodlights on because the water kind of doesn't really <laughs> light up at night. So yeah, I've. I may put a fountain or some fountains or some sort of decoration in the water just so it's not like a square plot uh, but I've not decided yet what I want to do with that area so that's another area I need to come back to and, uh, and sort of develop a little bit further and then next to next to these little bandstands we have got some uh, fairy light um, lampposts not necessarily I mean to be fair they don't really light up that much but what they uh, you know what, what what they do do is just kind of set a nice little calm atmosphere through these little paths and um, to get to the ferris wheel if you want to go through them but yeah other than that that, that is pretty much the uh, that's pretty much the lighting for the park but as you can see looking at it overall here it uh, you know it really really does look nice with all the different colors all the different rides going off so yeah really really pleased with that that is um that, that is the lighting done any rides I add towards the back of the park now, I will add the lighting as I go. But yeah, it, it, that was a, that, that was a time-consuming task that I've been putting off. Uh, but I just decided to sit around and have a play off camera, get it all sorted, um, and I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And I shall see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.